How's it going guys? My name is Alex Plays and welcome to True or False. A game we have to tell if the thing that they are telling you is true or false. Um, we're gonna be playing this as much as possible throughout this episode. I don't understand it, but we're gonna go straight on in. There we go. We're gonna go into the campaign. Nearly 37%- Oh, we'll just go straight in. Oh, okay. Nearly 37% of purchased Steam games are never played. I think that's true. Yes! Was that right? I think that was right. Yes, correct. Nice, okay. Albert Einstein was an avid bodybuilder. That's- that's false. I'm pretty sure that's false. Just a ripped Einstein. <laughs> There's a chocolate-scented flower. Yes? Yes, cocoa powder. I don't see why that wouldn't be a thing. Um, oh, sorry, a, a cocoa plant. Olympic gold medals are only 1% gold and 92.5% silver. I think that's true. Yes, when it winks, it's true. Okay, awesome. Goldfish are neither gold nor fish. Well, that's false. I mean, they're fish. <laughs> a single asteroid can contain $20 trillion worth of metals. True. And I know that one's true because of asteroid mining that which we have attempted. Some of them are like, it's so cool. Uh, how space and stuff, like, happens and does things, because there are asteroids which are literally made of diamonds, and it's insane. A potato isn't a vegetable, it's a large bean. Oh, I don't... I think that's false. Yes? False. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> nice. King Henry VIII slept with a gigantic axe. Ugh. Uh, false? False. Yes. Good. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> okay, cool. The vanilla flower blo uh, blooms during only one day. True. Yes, I know that flower and it's like this massive... Oh, no, it's not the massive one. It's that little one down there. I'm not sure if you can see the achievement, but you know. Right, tenth question. Medical errors cause over 250,000 American deaths each year. Ooh, okay, that's quite a hard one. Medicine has got a lot better in recent years. A, a, like, a lot better. Like, we're getting close to the cure of cancer better. <sighs> but 250,000 deaths. And in America alone. I'm going to say true. Yes! Okay, nice. Right, we'll just go as... I, I guess we'll just keep going until we get one wrong. The Tetris theme is actually a Russian folk song called... Korobini- I can't read that. True. It's true. I think it's true. I- Oh, Ag Agatha- No, that's false. <laughs> no, she wasn't- No, what? No, I'm an idiot! No, I was so confident in myself. I was wrong. Okay. Oh, it just goes straight back. Okay. Barack Obama was born in Kenya. True. Ah! I need to I need to reevaluate my life values. Really, Alex? Kenya? Kenya, Alex? No, he was born in America. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Don't worry. Koala bears have fingerprints that are identical to human fingerprints. Crime scenes experts have even even can mistake one for the other. True. Yeah. Nice. Koala bears achievement. Awesome. Other than man. The elk is the only animal that celebrates birthdays. Let's think here. Now, can an elk celebrate a birthday? I mean, elks have been known to be gathered at births and things like that. Deaths as well, so I don't see why not. No, no. Of course, they can't. They don't really have a time track, do they? In 1998, Sony released a camcorder that could see through clothes. False. What?! What? <laughs> Where is this camcorder and can I buy it? <laughs> Did it just allegedly see through clothes or something? I don't know. The Great Pyramid of Giza has four sides. True. I'm... Help me. <laughs> A 46-year-old man from England found and attacked a 13-year-old kid for killing him in Call of Duty too many... That definitely sounds like something the British would do. I mean, I'm a British, and that sounds like something I would do. I'm a Brit. I'm not a British. I am a British, but I'm not a... Whatever. There is a tree that can grow 40 different kinds of fruit. 
False. Really? Why do we not have more of them? This game is making me question our planet. Paul McCartney composed the entire melody of the song Yesterday in a Dream One Night. Sounds like something Paul McCartney would do. Yep. Yep. Warcraft only had three developers, two of whom had never previously worked on a video game. That definitely sounds like something that could be possible. Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> on the cosmonauts... One of the cosmonauts claimed that aliens came to Earth in order to stop a nuclear war against Russia. They claimed it. I reckon that could be something that they could claim, so I'm going to say true. Nice. It doesn't mean it happened, but you know. Halo 3 inspired Bill Gates to invent the internet. No. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> okay, I guess I guess there are some like pretty easy questions that are thrown in here, but you know. There is a potato-themed amusement park in Ireland. Ah, oh, I want to say true. Oh, I'm going there. 61% <laughs> of cats prefer o opera over Korean pop music. How... Who who conducted the study to find this out? 61% of cats. I think that's false. Oh. Good for cats for enjoying the K-pop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin was banned from the USA in 1952. Yes. Oh, yes. Poor Charlie Chaplin. That does sound like... Yeah, I, I guess. I guess it could. Because... America had a whole period where they were like, no violence, and Charlie Chaplin was like slapstick, and yeah. The British Army has almost twice as many horses as it does tanks. The current British Army or the previous British Army? Either way, we have a lot of, a lot of horses. Yeah, I would think so. George R. R. Martin wrote stories about a mythical kingdom popular by, populated by his pet turtles. Now, while I don't know... R.R. R. Martin's work incredibly well, I'm going to go ahead and say that that is entirely probable, and most story writers may have done the same, so I'm going to say true. Oh, good old R.R. R. Martin, that sounds like something I would do, just write an entire book based off your pet turtles. German has a word for an improvement that makes things worse. That sounds like something Germany would have. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, I could make so many poor jokes. Koala's teeth are strong enough to bend tight. No, 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 they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> Planet of the Apes is based on a true story. Ah. Uh, technically, it could be based on the story of ourselves. I'm going to say technically true. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. Um, it's confirmed. The story is confirmed I'm an idiot. A baby octopus is about the size of a flea at birth. False. False. Really? 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 Wow, okay. The inventor of the pop-up... Uh, the inventor of the... Uh, the inventor of the pop-up ad later apologized for creating it. I, I would. I know I would. I would definitely apologize for creating something that abominable. Sushi means raw fish. True. I was so confident about that one, too. I thought I knew. I don't. The first animal to ask an existential question was an African grey parrot. He asked what color he was. True? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I like parrots. And it's pretty cool that they... Ask what color it was. Honeybees that return to the hive drunk are punished. Now let's see. I've heard of flies drinking beer, but I haven't necessarily heard of a honeybee drink. I guess it's probable. I I guess it could be probable. I'm gonna say true. Oh, okay. Alcoholic honeybees. Whatever. <laughs> what? Okay. Cool. Nice. Honeybee is being alcoholic and all. I have a friend. I'm going to call her a honeybee from now on. She'll never know why. I just dropped something. Did I? Wait, did I drop it? I think I dropped it. Did I drop it? I'm pretty sure I dropped it. But where did I drop it? Oh, I found it. Oh, no, I squashed it. Oh, well. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. 
<laughs> is the furthest is the furthest leaning man-made tower. False. Good. I, I have a pretty good feeling that any tower that is like skyscraper level leans pretty far. Just from like the basis of how it works. Well, yeah, you get it. JK Rowling wanted to do a Harry Potter musical. False, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I, I, I don't think any story writer really wants a, you know, <sighs> a musical written about their book. I don't think it would be very good anyway, so whatever. The original teddy bear was inspired by a cartoon of USA President Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Roosevelt? Roosevelt. I don't know. The teddy bear. I'm going to say false on that one because I'm pretty... Really? Really? Well, okay then. Okay then. In China, John Steinbeck's The Grapes uh, the Grapes of Wrath... I don't like how those speech marks are held. ...is translated as Angry Berry. <laughs> I want to say it's true. No! <laughs> I really wanted that to be true. <laughs> The Great Wall of China is the only human man-made object, sorry, the only human-made object visible from the moon. No. I think there are other objects that are uh, visible from the moon. I don't know what, I don't know, I can't, I think the gherkin is visible from the moon. No, no, the gherkin wouldn't be. Area 51, maybe? That's a facility. I guess that counts as one big thing. Um, Mount Rushmore, maybe? I don't know. Things, things, stuff and things. There is over four, forty, four, four thousand. There is a four thousand year old clay tablet, which is a customer's complaint wanting a refund. Hmm. Now there are trading. You had trading back then. Trading was possible. I'm going to say true. I'm going to say it's possible. Yes! Nice! Okay. We're going to play up to fif the 50th question. And then I think I'll end up the episode because this is dragging on a bit. But I'm really enjoying this game so far. I think it's actually a pretty well-made game. And, you know, it's like a pastime. I'd say it's more of an app. It would be better in an app basis than it would be a full game. But, you know, whatever. Donald Duck is such an incredibly popular figure in Swedish culture... That they had to outlaw voting for him. Ah, uh, I have some Swedish friends, so I'm going to say false. Really, really, I might have to ask them about that. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's interesting. PewDiePie <laughs> is Donald Duck outlawed for voting in your country? Mark Wahlberg served 45 days in jail for attempted murder. True. I'd say that was something he would do. Yep. Definitely something he would do. Penguins are... I'm gonna have to send this to Charlie now. Penguins are, are only known animals to fly with no one looking. <laughs> yes, they fly with no one looking. No, I'm gonna say false. Of course, of course. I'd be very surprised if it's incorrect. Because <laughs> how will we document... What if... Oh my god. What if they do fly? We have no way of documenting it. We have no way of telling. Maybe they do fly. We will never know. <laughs> the only two species... Hang on, let me try... Ow, fuck. <laughs> only two species have, domes have domesticated other species, humans and ants. Ants have domesticated other species. Ants domesticating other... Sp what would they domesticate, though? Other ants? Fleas? Termites are the ants... Uh, I'm going to say false. I don't think that's true. Really? What do ants domesticate? I can't imagine an ant having a cat or something. Maybe maybe they domesticate something for defense. I don't know. I don't know. I, so many to Google. So many of these I have to Google now. Approximately 62% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings accounts. And 21% don't even have savings accounts. I believe that. I'd say that's true. Yep. It's a sad truth, everybody. Uh, I'd say a lot of English people don't have savings account either, either, to be honest. As punishment for misbehavior, the pol Thai police men are forced to wear a Hello Kitty armband. No, I think it's a little bit more severe than that. 
Really? I thought it was more severe than that. I thought they would, like, I don't know, have their arms cut off or something. I, I have no idea. I might be thinking of another country. There is a messed up country like that. Vikings believed that a giant goat named he- Himoran, I don't know how to pronounce that, whose udders provided an endless supply of beer, <laughs> awaited them in Valhalla upon their death. I'm going to say true. Yes, yes, uh, that is definitely something they would do. Right, last question. Google sent an email to its employees warning that a a a, a pymouth a pymouth I don't know how to say that word. Oh, I'm an idiot. Try that again. Google sent an uh. Last question. Google sent an email to its employees warning that a python was loose in its New York office on April 1st, 2001. It was not a joke. True. True. Please be- Yes! <laughs> yes, Google! <laughs> now, I- <laughs> Someone just brings in a python and just like, here you go. <laughs> I- Okay. Well, I guess you kind of have to warn them about that, about that, because, you know, if someone walks up to it and is like, what a cute little puppy. I don't know why they would mistake it for a puppy. What a cute little puppy. Let me touch it. And then they get bitten, you know, whatever. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Give it a share. Let's have a say, friends. Do check out my social media, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Woo!